New Orleans is a place of survival and spirit, of pride and strength. It's not a city, it's a state of celebration, reconstruction, reinvention. It's about time. Tonight, it's the place where they come to reclaim their pride and to prove a point. Alabama never expected to be here. Their plan was Pasadena. There goes Davis! Oh, my God! Davis is going to run it all the way back! Instead, a loss for the ages kept the tie from the SEC title and delivered it to the goal. Oh, my God! The last chance for AJ. The last game for CJ. The final four quarters of a program used to playing for more than pride. You expected Oklahoma to get here. With a quarterback by committee, with a committed defense, with a determined coach, the answer ultimately comes now. unfamiliar territory for him and that it's not a national championship game tonight but it is the final game for a sensational quarterback named A.J. McCarron on the other side Bob Stoops has been in all four BCS games and a BCS national championship and has also won one and it's been quarterback by committee for him this year between Trevor Knight and Blake Bell and it's Trevor Knight the redshirt freshman at quarterback in the pistol He'll throw on first down. High, but caught. And a pickup of eight out to Bester. They try to find the right matchup for him on option-type routes. Oklahoma, 39% third down conversion team. They get one here when they needed it to kind of quiet the Alabama crowd a little bit. Clay needed a yard. He got two. Knight. Quick slant, got it. Nice throw and catch. Got it to Jalen Saunders. And it's a first down, Sooners. You look at Jalen Saunders, you say, how is he going to survive playing this kind of football against physical teams? He's very small in stature at 5'9", 160 pounds, but very, very tough. In fact, the coaches say so tough, it rubs off on the rest of the team, which is a good thing. And quickly, Sterling Shepard out on the edge. Alabama has some depth issues up front. They have some injury issues in the back end of their defense. Tempo can be effective against them. And Clay got five and a first down into Alabama territory. Landon Collins' second interception of the year has given it back to A.J. McCarron. And McCarron's going deep. And he's in traffic and it's intercepted by Gabe Lynn. So, just like that, the Sooners get it back. Very rarely do you see A.J. McCarron force a ball. He's looking at Kevin Norwood the whole way on this. Number 83 in the slot is going to actually be double covered with a safety over the top. And Gabe Lynn is there for an easy interception. Again, you don't normally see A.J. McCarron force a ball into coverage. The tempo really had Alabama off balance. The throw just a little high but the tempo was effective for Oklahoma on that opening drive. Night play action. Might want all of it right here. And it's complete down the sideline. Bester. Touchdown. LaColton Bester, 45 yards, scoring toss. Excellent protection. Trevor Knight stayed in the pocket, and I think Landon Collins, who got the interception the first possession, went for it, went underneath the throw, didn't get a hand on it, and Oklahoma got a touchdown instead. They got Fowler, their fullback, in there, and he'll follow Fowler, spinning his way for a couple, but Frank Shannon, the middle linebacker, makes a nice play. Look out, we're going to have flags flying around here pretty soon. Has him first and goal at the 10. P.J. Eldon, not going to get away 
from Dominique Alexander, the newcomer of the year defensively in the Big 12. McCarron in the shotgun. On third and goal to the corner, and he overshot the guy that got him down there close, DeAndre White. And we got a camera guy down, at least he's smiling. Kaz Everett was back there covering. Well, Oklahoma really sold out. They brought everybody. Three of them had 36 catches coming in. DeAndre White had 29 before that long gainer. Sterling Shepard. Oh, nice run by Shepard. When you run on the perimeter, you force safeties and corners to take good angles to the football. Here's Saunders again. Collard after a first down. And Deion Blue is the guy that brought him down, but they'll move the chains. Keith Ford in the backfield with Trevor Knight for the first time. Knight comes up firing far side. Nice move by Bester to make the first guy miss. Kept his balance and got five. Knight looks to the sideline and in the pistol. He'll give it off to Ford, and Ford's got another first down and back in Alabama territory to the 46-yard line. Play action. Knight scanning the field on a crossing route. It's got Saunders again. And he'll be run out of bounds over there on the Oklahoma sideline by Eddie Jackson. They got injury to their left guard and their left tackle. So far, they're holding their own. And Eichard's the key there in that he is the center and the captain and one of the smartest guys and one of the better players in the conference. First down throw out to McNamara, the tight end. Clay got the corner. Brennan Clay has got another first down. Landon Collins knocked him out, but he got 12. This is the situation they wanted to avoid for Trevor Knight. Third down and long. Throwing situation. Bunch receiver set now to the left. He's looking that way. If he gets time, now he'll run it. Trevor Knight, first down slide. Just got it before he hit the deck. He might have wanted to get another half yard, but... They've got another one here. Third down and five. They can get a first down at the three-yard line. Alabama bringing extra pressure. Knight to the corner. Incomplete. No. Touchdown. Saunders. I didn't know if he held on to it. Slot receiver looking for a matchup. He's working on Clinton Ha Ha Dix. Dix in pretty good coverage. Perfect throw by the young quarterback Trevor Knight. Throw the outs out under pressure to the outside arm. And then a nice job by Saunders reaching the ball across the pylon. From the 31 yard line. Nice play fake by McCare and he's in trouble. Oh, and down he goes. Gino Grissom got him. Sack number one on the night. Grissom's going to come work between the guard and the tackle. Kawanjo thought he was going to get help from his brother, and Ari Kawanjo just doesn't stay with the block, and Grissom takes an outside course. This one's way short. Going to have to run up on him in a hurry at the 14-yard line, and Roy Finch got to the corner. Finch, the kicker, had to get him. Foster got him at the 45-yard line, but great field position. He's a little bit deep right now, too, as a matter of fact. Second down and 19. Play action. Screen pass coming. Clay, another big collision with Clinton Dix and C.J. Mosley. They've seen everything you throw at them, and they take good angles to the football. Third and long. Deep ball. Caught. What a catch by Derek Woods. First down, Sooners. Woo. You know, Landon Collins... If he makes a play on the football, he might cause a collision at the point of the catch. Instead, he goes for the low tackle, and they make the completion. Now Knight comes up firing on first down. It goes right back to the other side. This time to Jazz. Randall Honey cuts 23 out of 26 on the year. His longest was 44. Now this will be a 47-yard field goal attempt. Honey cut. Kick on the way. How about this ball game so far? And he'll throw on first down. Pump fakes and going long down the sideline. 
tipped at the last moment. Amari Cooper had a beat on it, but Zach Sanchez made a great play. Aaron Colvin, the opposite corner, was blitzing. The ball was slightly underthrown. Amari Cooper's got a step. The ball is a little underthrown, and that enabled Sanchez to dive and get a hand on the football. Well-timed jump by Zach Sanchez. You know, he's a redshirt freshman. Kind of was a surprise starter. Second down and three. The Andrew White in motion. Yeldon puts both hands around the football and got a yard and a half. Eric Stryker made the tackle, and they'll bring up another third and short. And again, it's Yeldon behind Fowler, and he's got another first down. And the ball out at the end. I don't know. Oklahoma's going the other way. Geno Grissom's got the football. Kind of unlike the tide. An interception by McCarron and that fumble by Yeldon. Trevor Knight. Play action rolls and throws and completes it. And a nice move by Bester to get the first down. Well, Bester's built a little differently than these other receivers. Saunders and Shepard are smaller, shiftier guys. Bester's a 6'3 guy, but shows quick feet, making one guy miss out there on the perimeter. From the 46, first down throw, complete out to Shepard. And he's into Alabama territory, depending on how this play goes. Either way. I think they're just going to try to draw him. <laughs> Here they come, and he's got it. Clay got two yards. That is a gutsy call by Bob Stoops. The so Sooners down to one timeout, but a first down at the 43. Play action. Knight's going to go long down the sideline. Oh, what a catch! Touchdown! Forty three yards to Jalen Saunders again. Watch the move. That is pretty. So is that. <laughs> Don't think a lot of people thought that Alabama would give Oklahoma 24 points, much less in the first half. Christian Jones met at the 16-yard line, and down he goes. Everett on the kick coverage. Second down and five. He's got three of them out there if he has time to throw it. And he's going to have to throw this one away. Eric Stryker was given chase again. <laughs> AJ gives him a little pat on the helmet as if say, nice job, man. Off coverage up at the top. Second down and ten. Here comes the blitz. McCarron lets it go, and he's picked off. Sanchez. All the way to the 15-yard line. The second interception of the half suffered by A.J. McCarron. A well-timed blitz. Mike Stoops decided to go after him, brought the pressure off the slot, an unblocked man, and A.J. McCarron thought he had single, threw it out there, and Sanchez read the play. He knows he has to get rid of it on the blitz. Amari Cooper didn't come back to the football, and Sanchez beat him to the mark. To grab command of the game here before halftime. End around. Shepard. Shepard. Touchdown. Oklahoma. Karen, look out. Down he goes. And it's Stryker. Now there's a penalty for taking his helmet off. Should be. I don't know that anybody saw him do it, but that's a penalty. McCarron, straight drop. And batted down at the line. And Grissom, I think, got a hand on it. He so was... the second time he's made a big play tonight. Again, that first half. Trevor Knight, 9 of 11, throwing the football, 134 yards and two touchdowns. 
They haven't run for much. Clay will try here, and he does a nice job out to the 30-yard line. Second down and seven. Sooners look like they might bring an extra body. The throw is going to be out to Cooper. This time, a nice play on the corner by Zach Sanchez. McCarron. He's got to get rid of this one because there was just too much pressure coming again. And you see where the tailback has got to line up. He's seven yards deep in the end zone. Knight to throw. And he rips one wow. out across the <laughs> 10 to Brandon Green, the tight end. Love the call. He's working with good field position at the 46-yard line. I think you go right back to Derrick Henry. And Henry is going to be bottled up this time. Nice job by the Sooners defense. McCarron from the shotgun. Plenty of time and now running out of it. And he's going to be brought down by Jordan Wade. Those guys hoping that their team can hold on here in the fourth quarter against the Crimson Tide of Alabama. A.J. McCarron again in trouble. And somehow sidestepped most everybody, but not the last one. And we're going to have a holding call as well, I think. That Tide was talking about. On the keeper. And a late pitch. I mean, really late. Saunders takes it out of bounds. The thing that Alabama has tried to take away in the second half are the quick, easy throws for Trevor Knight. Knight, deep. This one's caught. Sterling Shepard. And a first down. Oklahoma back in Alabama territory on a deep pattern down the middle. Here's a screen out to Shepard. Got one block. Got the corner. Planted his foot. And went out of bounds, but he got a first down. They move Shepard, and they're going to flare it out to him. Well, you got some of it back. Play clock down to five right now. Better hustle. Here comes a blitz. Knight backpedaling. Throws and completes it to Clay. Wow, I thought he was going to have to throw it away almost, and he got it to his tailback. Behind the line of scrimmage, they can go downfield. But Clay was beyond the line of scrimmage as well. Knight, long ball on the sideline. Got it! to Bester. First down, Oklahoma. Well, we've seen Trevor Knight make a couple throws where he has just dropped it in perfectly. Bester gets separation immediately on Jackson. And when you throw it over the outside shoulder, it's almost impossible to defend. Knight in the pistol set with Clay right behind him. That's Bester in motion. Knight Wanting to go to the right side. Throws finally at the end, and it's wow. a touchdown to Sterling Shepard. It looked like Joe Montana to Dwight Clark. What a throw as he extended the play, and it's a nine-yard touchdown. Now the tide again, behind by two touchdowns. From the 32-yard line, McCarron. Again, he's going to go down the sixth sack of the night by the Sooner defense. So again, Oklahoma stands up, guys. Movement, trying to disguise their pressure and their coverage. Here they come. He has to get rid of it in a hurry. Too much of a hurry. Kaz Everett was applying the heat. Third and nine, blitz coming. They go with the screen to Clay. Did he get there? Yes, he did. It's been that kind of evening. Here's a middle screen. And, oh, Finch almost broke that one. Got tripped up by Adrian Hubbard, or he might have been off to the races. As it is, he got 15 yards. C.J. Mosley red screen, but he didn't read middle screen. This was a beautiful call by Josh Heupel. Mosley knew a screen was coming. Clay trying to take it wide. And he's got another first down at midfield. Nice, tough run. A pickup of 12. 
from the 18 yard line. McCarron. Pressure from behind, and the ball is out. And it's scooped up by Oklahoma. Touchdown. Striker again, working against Cyrus Quanjo. As good as Quanjo is, Stryker knows this is pass all the way. Watch how fast off the line of scrimmage, gets around the big tackle, strips the football, and similar to the Bedlam game, Oklahoma scores on a fumble to end the game. Another look, there's Stryker from the backside. We said he was an impact player despite his lack of size. But he's got speed to burn. And he got to A.J. McCarron's arm before he could get it going forward. The ball out. And then Geno Grissom did the rest. Oh, that's some kind of effort by Grissom. Athleticism. Wow. I think when his knee touched, the ball was across the goal line. Unbelievable performance by the Oklahoma offensive line. And that one hits one of the Alabama players up front, and I think Oklahoma's got it. <laughs> How about that? Going to be a fitting finish to a remarkable night. They're, they're just, just trying, trying to squib yeah, this. This isn't an outside kick. No, it, it's a squib. It just hits Reggie Raglan right between the one and the eight. <laughs> and Gastelum is there on the special teams to basically ice the game right now. And they finally got to Bob Stoops. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, double duty. <laughs> what, what a great coaching job this year by Bob Stoops and his staff. Considering the injuries at quarterback, the injuries and the loss of some critical players throughout this season, maybe as fine of a coaching job as he's had in a long time. And his 160th career victory at Oklahoma is definitely sugar sweet. A two touchdown underdog wins by two touchdowns over the Crimson Tide of Alabama. 45-31. And two of the best in the business will meet for the handshake. I think we know who the MVP is of the night. The All-State Sugar Bowl goes to the Sooners of Oklahoma. Their 11th win, their 11-2. Alabama's season ends at 11-2. The trophy presentation and a lot more coming up after the break. It'll be the Ford BCS postgame show final Oklahoma 45 Alabama 31 not the way AJ McCarron wanted to go off but congratulations to him on a brilliant Alabama career